good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so uh, let me do a quick chat. Uh, check. So who has attended yesterday's uh, uh, Apache Software Foundation's uh, presentation? Like Rich Bowen and uh, uh, William Jones' presentation. Raise your hand. No, the speaker doesn't count. <laughs> Anyhow, okay. Hello, Suzanne. And there's a gift for you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, actually, I have more. Uh, so, welcome to this session. Uh, I'm starting counting my time. It's quite uh, busy. Uh, I'm Teat Liu. Uh, so, uh, I briefly introduce myself. I currently uh, uh, wearing three hats. Uh, the first hat is uh, Kai Yuan Shou, I'm the uh, co founder. And uh, uh, <coughs> so Kai Yuan Shou is an uh, open source, uh, ground up open source alliance in China. So, we founded in uh, 2014. Uh, so, we call ourselves a, a home of open source world. And we call it a community of communities of open source. Uh, I'm also in the Apache Software Foundation. Uh, so I'm, my third hat uh, is the uh, open uh, source mentor advisor. So I have the three hats. So you can see the hat tricks uh, picture up there. <laughs> uh, previously, I was with a, a few uh, companies and startup and uh, some multinational company. Uh, so you can see the green one. That green is uh, open source. So the green one all related with uh, open source. Uh, the red one actually is uh, year two thousand with the Takam bubble bursts. Uh, I was with uh, one of the top three Linux distribution in the world, but they never went got uh, listed. So it's a startup failure. But it's a good lesson to me. Uh, so I started to embrace open source since then. Uh, so my uh, three, I call three body experiences. Then uh, one is in, uh, in Taiwan. I was born and grew up in Taiwan, uh, in the US and in China for 22 years. So I call it uh, three body ex uh, experiences. So who read the book? Oh, okay. You, you did? Three body problem. Do you, have you read the book? Okay. <laughs> There's a try connection for your power. So that's all your three problems for different devices. Anyhow, uh, the last book says a death end, but I don't believe that. I believe that Penguin is going to conquer the world, and love and peace and open source is going to conquer the world. Anyway, uh, this is quite interesting. Uh, so everybody can uh, reach out to me uh, through this uh, content method. Okay, uh, today I talked about uh, uh, open source uh, market dynamics and the developer booming uh, globally and in China. Uh, so we can see that the open source uh, adoption has been uh, increasingly uh, <clears throat> Uh, growing everywhere, uh, even in China. And nowadays, the open source, source of, uh, acquisition and adoption in the enterprise uh, is larger than the proprietary one. That are, you can see the stats here. Right? Then the proprietary software, the pool one, and the OSS commercial, and the OSS community software. And then it also happens in China the, the, same, the same, uh, same way. Uh, also, we can see the OSS uh, adoption in the industry, uh, in many industries like uh, financial and energy, even in the entertainment industry like uh, academy uh, software foundation. So it's, it's wrong. Uh, academy software foundation. Right. And uh, the, the <clears throat> uh, developer that China is uh, one of the fastest growing market in the world. Uh, currently, the, the compound annual growth rate uh, is 19%. Uh, it's uh, so one of the fastest, uh, fastest uh, market in the world. And, uh, but the challenge is that uh, we have many projects 
Uh, from my experience, that, that in 2015, when we started the Kanyan Shore, uh, then we do the uh, first Apache Roadshow in China. Right? And then there's only one project, Apache Killing, and it's a top level project. And nowadays, or today, we have 34, uh, 34 projects, and uh, uh, 23 of them are, uh, has, have been graduated as a top level project. 11 is still incubating. So, but however, the, the successful business model is yet to be approved, but yet to be proved, and uh, the people are still the invest uh, the investor, the venture capitalists, they are eager to invest on open source a project. But then you can see that by last week in Hong Kong, there's a Web three conferences. So the one table there's nine investor, only one project. <laughs> That's uh. That, that's a very pleasant experience, right? Then my investor approach you. So uh, open source project is very popular, then there, there, but there, there are few, uh, fewer investors that look into the project, right? So uh, uh, the, the successful models is yet to be uh, uh, proved yet. All right, and then uh, we know that uh, uh, <clears throat> China's enterprise and startup uh, open source business, uh, they were in, <clears throat> uh, going through these stages, consumer stage, then the participant stage, uh, contribution stage, and the leader stage. Uh, but I would say that most of the uh, Chinese enterprise, and, and, uh, even the uh, top 500 enterprises or small, medium enterprises, I'm still in a very early stage, and most of them are still in the early stage. And, and the problem is that uh, the capability gap, including the compliance uh, uh, and the <coughs> governance uh, capability, and uh, the, <coughs> the ability, the capability to participate in the open source community, uh, that was led by the uh, the reason we stand the same of open source, uh, and few, uh, uh, there are a few uh, reasons. Uh, one is, uh, which Bowen mentioned yesterday, free as a free puppy. They think it's free, but actually, you raise, raise up a dog, a puppy dog is not really free. You need to spend a lot of time to take care of the you know, puppy. And, and uh, <coughs> excuse me, the compliance, the money, Enterprises, they don't understand that uh, how to use that open source software uh, correctly. That creates a technology depths and the security issues. Um, <clears throat> so the compliance is the one major issue here. And the selection, then they don't know how to select a robust, uh, well-built and sustainable uh, project. So that also creates an issue that, and uh, also the <clears throat> they don't know how to uh, uh, choose their uh, open source project business model going forward. So that it's been challenged by the corporate leaders and how the open source project and the business model, model can be profitable and sustainable. Yeah. And, uh, and that's the next one is, uh, I think that most of the companies and uh, a lot of developers in China, they don't really understand how to uh, grow their community or join, participate the community here. All right. Uh, so, uh, three comes play uh, <clears throat> of uh, open source rainforests. It's probably one of very few community that focus on, uh, <clears throat> you know, being the partner, uh, being the enterprise open source to a better place. So, so they position themselves as a partner of choice. And, okay. Uh, my time has shown 6.15, 6 minutes and 15 seconds, so I have my timer, thank you. Uh, so our vision is driving uh, enterprise growth with open source, uh, so our mission is uh, to build open source knowledge framework and empower, empowering enterprise open source capabilities. But in China there's a, uh, a, a, a phenomenon is that 
uh, either the, the, the biggest enterprise, they lead the open source project, or the startup. What's missing is a small and medium enterprise. They don't, know, they don't have resources, they don't have knowledge. But the top enterprise are mostly led by the, who has a strong open source project, mostly from ICT, Internet uh, Communication, Telecom, and the other traditional industry, they still you know, try to figure out how to do the open source. I believe that represents a huge opportunity here. So that's uh, our approach. Uh, we work with the industry customer. We help them understand open source. They help them know how to use open source and contribute to open source. Then finally be become a leader of some leadership. Right? Uh, so we uh, <coughs> uh, come up with the uh, <coughs> open source empowerment program. And currently, we uh, roll out 11. Uh, nine courses out of 11. Uh, so from four different category, uh, understand open source and respect its best practices, and open source compliance supply chain management. Uh, th that's the very, very proposition, right? I, that echo is what uh, we said yesterday. And uh, uh, enterprise open source value chain and strategy business models and so forth. And there's two more courses uh, is under development. Right. Uh, so uh, this is the history and the uh, journey that how we prepared and published these courses uh, in, back in uh, last year, uh, almost this time in August, and uh, we published two more courses. I was one of the speakers here. Right. And uh, uh, actually, Force Asia Summit is the first one that we launched this, uh, announced that uh, for, uh, five more courses. And uh, so I, I'm, I'm supposed to announce it back in China. But, uh, this is a test bed. I had announced it in First Asia Summit. So five more courses will be announced. And then remember there's two more courses, uh, the last two courses that focus on uh, open source usage and ecosystem building. They will take a, a different approach then we talk to people who has real practice and real experience how to do open source governance and how to do open source project. So like ZTE, the telecom, one of the telecom equipment provider in China, uh, like uh, <clears throat> our end, end group, one of the largest uh, internet financial group in China. And also we talk with that uh, one Community health measurement uh, project called uh, Open Source Compass that help enterprise uh, open source project to evaluate whether this project is robust enough, whether it is sustainable. Right? Okay, the more to come. I will interview with uh, Dr. Uh, Bytons, uh, Linux Foundation OSPO Group. To the global rebank, so on and so forth. So that uh, we put all this file side chat together and then, uh, make a uh, more interactive uh, conversation and uh, accumulate the experiences and the best practices together uh, for these two courses, right? Open source usage and the open source ecosystem building. They will learn from their experience. All right. Uh, actually, we have one one minute and forty five seconds. So, anyone has more question? Anyone has a question? I have a souvenir that I can give. <laughs> if none, then uh, I'm done here. Thank you for your listening. Thank you.